going on people this is Speederman here once again with another film review and this time I'm talking about a film called The Go-Getters it's a Canadian comedy um let's see I don't know when was the last time I saw a Canadian comedy especially one like this <laughs> so this story is about a deadbeat drunk whose name is Owen and a prostitute hooker his name is Lacey, which, by the way, she don't look that bad. It's just that in this film, she's always, you know, looking like a rundown, like a $1 hooker. <laughs> so anyway, so these two people meet up, and they're like the worst people you can meet. And they develop sort of this friendship, I guess you could call it, because at first, they, they really hate each other. They can't stand each other. But they try to come up with a scam to come up with $98 for bus tickets out of town because both of them the one thing that they do share in common is that they both hate the town that they live in I think it's somewhere in Canada and they they just want to get out of this town they're sick of living there because they just you know sick of probably just being poor and they might have better luck somewhere else so the deadbeat drunk Owen his brother owns a bar, and his brother is a total opposite of Owen. His brother has, runs a successful bar. You know, he's a pretty successful guy. He runs a business. And his brother just can't stand Owen. And Owen's always freeloading off of him. You know, always trying to get free drinks. But uh, they go through all these uh, weird situations and... Some of it's really nasty. So there's some really gross moments in this movie, um, and I don't know. The acting is good though. The acting, the chemistry between Owen and Lacey is pretty funny, and they're both really loud people. But I think Lacey is more loud than Owen, and they're just very uh, I don't know how to say it, man. Very expressive, with a lot of colorful language. You know, there's a lot of cussing in this film. Um, a lot of F-bombs thrown in there, and it's just, after a while, it kind of gets repetitive and annoying. I mean, because they keep cussing, and it's just like, it's, it's funny at first, but then it just gets old. Of course, there's crude humor in this, and I don't know, it kind of felt like I was watching a freaking episode of South Park, man. Because, you know, the way they cuss in that show, that's how I felt like watching this. But, um... I think people that watch this film can learn a lot from this film because this film teaches you that lesson that if you don't, you know, if you don't go for your dreams or if you don't work for what you want, then you're just going to be stuck, stuck in a rut, man, stuck in, you know, in this, in this place you don't want to be. And I think there is an underlying message in this film that you have to go for what you want, you know, and I like that about this film. Uh... It's not that long. I think it's only like 90 minutes long. And it has a very, very unique style to it, I, I must say. Uh, the stuff that these two characters go through just to come up with $98 is fucking hilarious, man. And it's stuff that, like, only true, desperate people would do. And they do it all, man. Um, and it's kind of funny them trying to, like, you know, kind of try something and try to be successful at it and fail and they're always back to like this you know square one it's kind of funny how that kind of played out but all in all would I recommend this film um, yes I would actually I didn't expect much I just read the synopsis to this film and I was like oh it sounds pretty interesting but it is actually pretty funny there are funny moments and there are moments that people could probably relate to in this film and I like that about it. It sort of re reminded me of uh, Clerks. You know, I guess a Canadian version of Clerks. Sort of. Um, and I like that. Also, the guy that plays Owen, he wrote the script for this movie. So that was kind of interesting to fig to find out. Um, the girl that plays uh, Lacey, she's pretty cute too. Uh, you know. And yeah, I mean, there's some weird characters in this film too, but... It's really all about Owen and Lacey and their struggles, you know, to make money. And I like that, though. It's very relatable to a lot of people. So, yeah, I would really recommend you guys watch this film. I don't know if it's on streaming 
you pr yeah, yeah, I think you should find it on Netflix or wherever you stream your movies. And I would definitely get it on Blu-ray or DVD. I give this film a 7.5 out of 10 because it was better than I thought. There are things that could have, you know, been cut out of the film. But at the end of the day, I had a fun time with this film. So yeah, The Go-Getters. Highly recommended. 100 subscribers. Peace.